Okay, so this is going to be the first time that this thing actually, okay, auto ejection. Okay, let's watch. Okay, it's going to lift the clamp that's holding the piece of paper down, and oh, holy cow, I don't even know where the thing went. <laughs> I think we, <laughs> Is this it? Nope, that's not it. Hold on. Up oh, here it is. Because it, it, it has half of the thing on there. Okay, so we need to have... <laughs> yeah, it's still warm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Okay, so so the niftiness of this whole thing here. Oh, there it went. It printed out another piece of paper. It's going to print on here this time. <laughs> that went too far. That's okay. Well, I, yeah, I guess. It's not going to print any. It's it's it, it's not going to print over the edge. This might actually work better. Okay, so. So the cool thing about this 3D printer is that we have a custom G-code sender and a web interface that allows for the printer to be queued up uh, over the internet. So right here, oh, let me log in. This here is the 3D print queue, okay? So this is the thing I just printed um, and the status is done, okay? I can actually show all the files in the queue from all the different users. And this one right now is printing this particular item. And what it did is it, it printed out a piece of paper, the custom G-code sender. Let's see. The custom G-code sender talks to the website here and grabs the G-code file and um, sends it to the... Uh, the printer, but it also prints out the, the comments at the top of the G-code file. So this one was printed by John. So this is John. Hey. And then this one was printed by me, and you can see how it printed out the, uh, the details for the user, and it prints it out. I'm printing PLA, and I'm printing PLA straight onto uh, white paper. And what it does is it prints out the details for the print job on the regular inkjet printer. It lifts this whole assembly up, which is tied to the clamp here, which holds the piece of paper onto the print bed. So that lifts all the way up. And this here is the really hacky limit switch, okay? So that limit switch right there is attached to a power supply, which when it's closed, it activates the auto extraction motor. So what happens is um, the, the print job, I have a little bit of G-code at the end of the print job, which drives the Z-axis into that end stop, which activates the auto eject motor. And that also lifts the print bed clamp. So <laughs> that's, the, uh, that's this whole little thing. And it's pretty cool. So here's the here's the last a little bit. I'm going to kind of just show you how to add how how this whole thing works. If I go and I want to add a new print to the queue, I guess to go and choose a file and I can just go and grab something like this little pyramid. That's got to be an STL. Yeah, it has to be an STL. Yeah. And I can pick my density. I'm just going to leave it down at 20%. And then if I hit submit, on the server side, and I'm running the server locally on this computer, it slices the, uh, the file and it produces a G-code preview in your web browser. So it slices on the server using the settings for the printer and it makes the, uh, the G-code file and it allows you to preview that in the browser, make sure you're not gonna end up with a pile of spaghetti or something. And then you have this approve for printing button. So now that's approved for printing. It's in the queue and it's waiting. So it has a status of print and my other one has a status of done. 
And right now, if I look at the, uh, the whole queue, you can see um, my buddy here, uh, John, his, his thing is printing on the printer. So that's actually what's printing right now. So this whole thing, auto ejection, um, print information, the whole bit. It's, uh, it's all one big giant package. By the way, it's all open source. It's up on GitHub, and um, I, I'll, I'll probably post a link for that. Yeah, and, and shame on you, Mike, for vertical video. That's just, that's just awful. <laughs>